Welcome back to the Haunted Mansion Tournament Expert Division opening round, hole number two. Here we're going to be playing a sniper rough bump. The adjustment for this shot is P3 plus 15% mid numbers using Sniper 10 in the app. So mid Sniper 10 numbers. 2.1 top spin, 0 0.5 right spin. You're either going to play just before circle drop over power or circle drop over power, depending on your wind strength. So if your wind is between 6 and 7.2, then you'll play just before circle drop over power. If your wind is 7.3 to 7.7, 7, you need to play circle drop over power. With spins added, you're going to want to have the top of the green ring touching the rough fairway line, and the ball guide pointing toward the center of the cup. Here's the tricky part about this shot is, for whatever reason, they've added or changed this green or, or whatever, and so we get a very glitchy ball guide here, and it's a little bit of a pain in the ass to set this up. But that's what we want it to look like. You just gotta you gotta find the you know the glitch that pops long and have it pointing at the center of the cup. You know, and have the green ring, you know, touching or very close to touching on top here. Here's what I'll tell you. Practice this shot a couple of times. Because it's a little tricky to get set up. And you don't want to waste too much time fooling around with a glitchy ball guide and either time out or have to rush the shot, you know, and then you're pulling all kinds of crooked and, re and releasing early and all that other crap. So practice this one. Get familiar with how the ball guide glitches out and what you need to do to get it. Generally speaking, if you have your spin set, and you have the green ring near the top of the rough, you can just slide it sideways left to right, and you'll see it glitch in and out. If, if you see it glitch in, and it's pointing straight at the hole, then stop. It doesn't have to be showing the full ball guide like you see in my picture. Right? You can still play it even though the ball guide looks like it stops short of the green right if it's in the glitch if you as long as you know it's pointing at the hole you don't have to see the full ball guide all right just make sure that it's pointing at the center of the cup when you stop moving left and right man as long as you do that and then you pull straight if anything i would recommend a slight 59 flicker here. You definitely don't want to have any 01. At least that's how I see it. Uh, if I had a little bit of 01 on this one, I was missing it to the to the left of the hole. So straight pull, if anything, 59 flicker. Uh, try it out. See what works for you. Make some, some tweaks if you need to. But this one's been good in all wind angles. The only real problem is the glitchy ball guide. That's a pain in the butt to set up. Uh, but once you figure out how to get past that, really, really good opportunity here. Now, with that being said, it has this shot has been tested with wind 5, wind 4, and wind 3. All right? And it's been dropped with all of those. So... Pretty much any P3 side spin one plus ball should work here. So long as it's uh, wind three, four, or five. But good opportunity for a hole number two here. So I wish you the best of luck. Hope you get the drop. And we'll catch you on the next one. One thing, I'll, uh, one other note here while we're watching the shot. I would not recommend setting up 
too far into the fairway with your green ring. Sometimes uh, it's a little easier to see that ball guide get long if you got your green ring kind of clipping into the fairway on top. But if you do that, then you risk, you know, uh, the first bounce landing long and not hitting the rough. I set it up that way once, and I barely clipped the rough. <clears throat> so, just a note there. Do your best to keep the top of the green ring as close to even with the rough line on top as possible. If you set up a little too high, there's a possibility that you do miss the rough. So, good luck. Hope you get it, and we'll catch you on the next one.